When you pet a dog or listen to a cat purring, thinking may subside for a moment and a space of stillness arises within you, a doorway into being. I think this is a great line. The vital functions that pets fulfill in this world hasn't been fully recognized. They keep millions of people sane. And then Earl's telling Ozzy, heal. That's H-E-A-L. They have become guardians of being. A lot of magazines, but somewhere in my drawing I always drew a little white dog with a circle around his eye. But uh, an art director told me I was drawing a Jack Russell Terrier. This was before Eddie on Frasier, so I'd never heard of Jack Russell Terrier. So I looked him up in the dog book, and I was like, oh my god, it's my cartoon come to life. <laughs> so my wife and I actually got Earl, Jack Russell Terrier, and, uh, and he inspired me to actually do a comic strip. So it's a nice full circle of I drew a cartoon and became a real dog, and then the real dog became a cartoon. <laughs> first saw the Now 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 strip that you mentioned on PBS? Can you tell us if it was part of a series and when it was first published? Oh, you know, you're asking me a tough question. I know it was a while ago, and you know, it was influenced by Eckhart Tolle's teaching. And because uh, I totally agree, that you can't help but be in the now when you're with your dog or, or with your cat. I mean, you have a cat purring on your lap, it's hard to think about all the craziness in the world. You gotta find that stillness and peace. And uh, my dog girl definitely did that for me. You know, when I'm at the drawing board doing my work, he always reminded me it was time to go out and play in nature once in a while. So this book, I mean, this strip. You know, it's a combination of Eckert's influence and my dog also. It means a lot to us to see it in that book and Stop and Smell the Roses. So, uh, but, well, you know, we started the PBS special, my wife and I. We were just totally in love with that special. With you guys, we just thought that was an amazing story. When you mentioned the cartoon, the now, 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 I was like, oh my God, man, <laughs> little <laughs> chills that you guys mentioned. That. We were really happy about it. Thanks. That means a lot. Patrick, it's a pleasure meeting you. A real pleasure. Thank you very much. I do get a lot of letters from every guard dog. He has a well. job to do. And, you know, if we can get one person to bring their dog back in the house. But whenever I draw him outside this trip, he's always running free. Mm -hmm. Boy, last year I thought for sure I was going to run the free guard dog story, but I did. And uh, see, I can draw legs, really stubby legs. <laughs> <laughs> Our dog's owner is a nasty guy to be dogs, but he cuts his lawn. See, our dogs all happy. So I, I don't know if it's going to be this year, but pretty soon you'll see our dog go free. 